Okay, so this is going to be a quick video having a look at uh, pegboard fixings and a design that I've come up with which works great for me um, using a 3D printer. Um, I got this pegboard about probably a year ago now. It has all sorts of junk on it, including the spool for the 3D printer and the sorted rubbish. Um, when I got it, I've got some pegboard hooks as you would, just off the shelf. Um, some of them worse than others. These ones, for example are absolutely terrible, they're not really designed for these pegboards <coughs> they're much too big, much too small, sorry um, so okay, 3D print some of my own these are some of the designs I found on Thingiverse, well, this one was a design I found on there which is fine, but it's difficult to get the dimensions right it needs filing to get it to fit and it falls out um, some of the ones I've made using this similar design this one's for holding a centre punch and it looks like that, it's okay It's doesn't hold in particularly well unfortunately and uh, there's another one there which has the same problem so okay rethink this one <coughs> how about riveting using plastic rivets so that's what I did this one here actually has an IKEA lamp on it which um, used to be a clamp lamp and the clamp exploded so I took it apart and rebuilt it like this conveniently and I've lost the cable because this is the third take it was also um, 5 volts, so it's now USB powered and illuminates the 3D printer. Um, it's basically just a flat plate with the two holes for these plastic rivets, which are the similar style to the ones you'd find in car trim. Uh, they have a hole in the centre and they come with plastic screws, but the plastic screws are rubbish, so I use generic self tapping posi drive screws, which work great. Um, next door to this one is thermometer holder, infrared thermometer holder, with two at the top and two at the bottom. And it's actually without the cup for the holder, it's just that really. This was a first attempt and it was measured wrong, so never mind. That's just super glued on there. At the top, for a meter, we have this little box which originally had the same fixings as did this one. Just a, uh, just this kind of peg that went in there. Originally had those. They were cut off, and this was made with three at the top, one at the bottom, and that just pushes in. You can see where the old pegs used to be. It needs to be glued. It fell off a minute ago, but um, that's rock solid on there. As is the crop clip holder. Absolutely rock solid compared to this one here, which is wibbly wobbly. Um, these are also rubbish, but the rib plastic rivets I use are just generic off eBay. They come with the screws as well. You can probably order them without, which I would recommend because the screws are rubbish. But uh, they work absolutely fine, and now I can expand the things for the pegboard. Um, there's no point in me uploading a design to Thingiverse um, or anything like that because, well, it's just some plates with holes in and they really are quite minimal and quite simple to suit whichever your needs are. Um, but feel free to copy the design and thanks for watching.